everyone uh, and those who are, join us online as well. I understand there's a big uh, crowd out there online. Um, thanks for having me and thank you for this lovely introduction. Uh, let me dive into it and I aim to keep this uh, brief, hopefully. So, uh, Liwa, I'm, first of all, let me in quickly introduce myself. I am Hiba Ha'i, I'm the Managing Director for Liwa Egypt. Uh, and um, what is Liwa? Liwa, we are, uh, generally, we're impact focused, we're SME focused, we're an SME lender. We care very much about, I would say, our general theme is job creation and, uh, and impact, creating impact in the markets where we operate. Uh, we're an SME lender that is in Egypt and in Jordan. Um, we choose to uh, be an impact-focused business and our choice of, of industry is SME lending. Uh, and why is that? Because SME is defined as the missing middle, the, the sector that is uh, overlooked uh, more often than not. Uh, microfinance are typically well served and also larger corporates. Our focus is truly on SMEs. SMEs that are uh, defined as those that are uh, a registered business, it's um, uh, it, it semi-formal, uh, they rely on, on uh, bank accounts in some shape or form, so uh, they, they, they are semi-formal again, uh, but are overlooked by the banking system because they're not, uh, I would say, uh, it, to an extent, not very... Um, interested to, to serve that sector and sort of what they offer also is ill-suited for the needs of the SME segment. Uh, typically our, I would say, our normal uh, uh, applicant is a trader, uh, those focused on trading businesses and uh, they cannot wait for a normal bank process which takes five to six weeks to get a loan. They typically have an opportunity that they need to grab at in the market, some raw material that they need to buy. They need quick decisions here, and we are capable of providing that. Uh, again, this is just saying, you know, there's a market opportunity, missing middle. It's a big opportunity here in Egypt specifically as well. Uh, what is our solution? So we offer uh, two types of products. Uh, we have quick cash loans and we have uh, term loans. So briefly touching upon quick cash loans, these are instant instantaneous loans where we rely on um, transaction level data uh, to issue immediate same day loans. And we also have larger term loans where we rely on uh, more data points than just transaction level data, but in that case we also still issue loans in 48 hours. Again, that's a, a, a track, uh, I would say, a record uh, number compared to what banks are able to do in our part of the region. Uh, how do we do what we do? We have a proprietary technology, a loan management system, uh, and a credit scoring model, and we also are a, a cash flow uh, lending uh, business, rely on, on cash flow analysis. Uh, and that's basically what we do. The process of our technology is present in every part of the, uh, the lending process, from application, credit assessment, financing, monitoring, and collections. We have, uh, just going through that very quickly, technology integrated in each one of those parts, so we can do what we do, instant loans or 48-hour assessments. In terms of traction, we have lent over $100 million in loans since inception, uh, and we, are, uh, we wouldn't be able to do that, that without the support of our shareholders and those who are present on our cap table from uh, VCs as well as DFIs. Uh, uh, worth mentioning here is uh, we have FMO, uh, Proparco, and uh, soon DFC at the end of the year hopefully before the end of the year. We also have, uh, other than direct lending, so I touched upon our first product, direct lending. What we do also is what we call underwriting as a service, and that's, that is basically where we have, the ba our balance sheet comes from the bank. So the bank is doing the lending and directly to the SMEs through us. So we enable that quick lending uh, to the banks as well. 
Uh, in terms of value pro proposition for the SME, it doesn't change. Again, quick loans, very quick decision making. But the only difference I would say other than process is that they would be able to get the bank rate, which is obviously a, 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 a much cheaper rate than what Liwa uh, as an NBFI can offer. Uh, for the banks, this is, this is a, a value add for banks where they can tap into the SME segment, especially those larger corporate banks who typically are not interested in, or I would say, not tailored towards quick SME uh, loans. So they, through our process, are able to lend to SMEs bigger ticket sizes. We also, uh, sorry, going back to the SMEs, there is a very important value proposition here. They get access through the bank to larger ticket, ticket sizes than what Liwa can offer. So it goes uh, in Jordan up to $750K uh, per loan. Uh, what are we up to now? So we are doing, we exist in Jordan since 2016, and now we're working on Egypt expansion. We're currently in the regulatory process of, re, uh, of getting the license. We are hitting profitability before the end of the year, hopefully. Uh, and uh, finally, we're also going to be raising our Series B before uh, end of the end of the year. Uh, again, we're looking for uh, DFI support, we're looking for uh, local investors, we're looking for uh, to raise uh, debt from local banks. And again, this is, these are, this, none of this would be possible without the, the people here and the organizations, our shareholders and financing partners. Uh, very quickly, this is uh, uh, the current team that we, we've had in 2021, a change in management, and this is the new team. Uh, Dennis, our CEO, is, has, been, has taken over as uh, the CEO of the company since 2021. And that's it. Thank you. Fantastic. Maybe uh, an opportunity for a last Q&A session of the day before we move on to closing remarks. So if you have any question, just raise your hand. I'll bring you the microphone. Any questions for Lewa? Maybe I'll go home without a question. Maybe you'll go home without a question. Any questions for Lewa? Going once. You always have a question. <laughs> Christoph, you always have a question. No, no pressure. <laughs> so, um, can you tell us maybe more about the, you, you mentioned there was a recent change in CEO? Or? Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, when yes. When is uh, the CEO going to be a female? Sorry? I thought you were going to be the CEO. Uh, I'm going to be the CEO. I mean, I think uh, being managing director for Egypt for now is, uh, is, exactly. is, is big enough. Uh, Egypt is, I would say, much larger, mar much larger than Jordan and also has its, its, its challenges. Um, so, yeah, we've had a change in management. Uh, in 2021, which is which is interesting, our founders have uh, stepped down as management team, and a new management team has been put in place. Was there a problem with the previous one? No, I wouldn't say there was a problem, but it's just a change in, I would say, uh, capabilities or the needed cap capabilities for the scale-up period that we're in, instead of the founding period that the company went through for the first three to four years. Uh, so this was, I would say, mutually agreed, kind of, that... Uh, now, you're raising Series B, so in terms of international expansion, going other markets, what's going to be next? I Can think Egypt is, at this stage, the focus. It's big enough and, I would say, like, uh, hard enough to crack as a st first step, but definitely expanding into other market, uh, markets is not, like... Uh, uh, I mean, we're not shying away from it, but I, s I think we need to do it uh, one step at a time. That was more than one question. Any questions in the back? Going once, going twice. Then please help me give a very big round of applause to wrap up the day. Thank you so much. It was amazing. Thank you.